Well guys, it's a lovely Memorial Day weekend here. Uh, as you know, Memorial Day weekend, it generally rains and we got a shower, unexpected shower last night. So we're still out of the field here. We have about, I know we have two fields of corn left and four fields of beans to plant and then about 750 acres of Milo to go. So if it ever stops raining, we can get something done pretty quick really. Um, but since we're delayed, and since it's Memorial Day, I kind of thought I'd get something kind of special out this Sunday. You guys won't see this till next Friday, probably, but I thought I'd get something special out. Um, I usually like to hang a flag on it um, on, hall, on the 4th of July and in like the rodeo parade here locally and on Memorial Day and any other parades I have time to get to. Um, pretty special tractor. Um, I am the third owner of this tractor. The second owner didn't own it a very long amount of time, but it's... It's a pretty special one and um you know before we get started i just want to thank all those who served all our veterans and those serving currently for all their help to protect our great country i know i'm a member of our local sons of american legion so i have duties this evening putting out flags at a cemetery and then duties tomorrow morning um at um four cemeteries go doing memorial day services it's one of my favorite things to do is that memorial day service stuff um just you know, I'm not a veteran or anything like that, but it's the best I can do to help. So please, you know, go out and support your veterans. But for now, we're going to talk about a tractor. And the tractor is pretty damn cool. This is our uh, 1978 International 1468 tractor. We bought this tractor in uh, March of 2022. So we've had a little over two years now. Um, the second owner of this tractor i believe bought it in 2018 or 2019 i'd have to check with him again to make sure but um before him it was bought new in uh, 1972 at the ih dealer in great bend which would be gibson titus and stafford i believe um it was bought new by a farmer in the saint john kansas area for his daughter to run um, I know that sounds crazy, but uh, this tractor was actually female owned for almost all of its life, um, up to the last two owners. She was the only one who ever ran this tractor on their farm. Um, it came to me and I'll post it, share a picture of it right here shortly with an Ansel cab on it. Um, cab itself uh was very very nice one of the nicest ansel cabs i've ever been in and i've been in some pretty nasty aftermarket cabs but this one was incredibly incredibly nice um but i uh you know just felt like it belonged with fenders and a roll bar on it personally for my own enjoyment um the last owner had full intentions of doing that as well just he didn't have time and he uh got a hold of me and uh price it to me and you know one of those things you can't turn down and that's kind of how it ended up here but she was always the one to operate this tractor and it always stayed inside every night and it stays inside every night with me too um it is an original paint tractor 
all the hood sheet metal side panels and all that stuff is original paint four pans original paint the fenders and roll bar i took off a 766 we had um and i actually just lifted up the roll bar off one the cab off the other and swapped them between the two um this set of fenders i took off the 766 were very incredibly nice but could use a repaint um at some point in time but they match the tractor pretty well for what it is they're not awesome but they look pretty good on there um but all this sheet metal here is original paint there is no repaint i spent oh a couple four or five days detailing this up um a couple years ago and just making it look good again and as you can see it it's pretty incredibly good looking tractor just i mean it's truly an original paint tractor kind of one in a million find it has four thousand two hundred hours on it now um so really fairly low hour tractor very well kept tractor in my honest opinion probably one of the nicest original paint 1468s in the country you know these are one of the most sought after tractors by ih collectors and this one is the cream of the crop in my opinion the back tires are 20.8 38 firestone field and roads um those i believe are original to the tractor the st john kansas area if you know anything is a pretty sandy country so uh you know you didn't wear tires out in a hurry and i believe these still to be the original tires for the tractor i have duels for this as well um the duels are pretty darn nice too um i don't have the right dual hubs the dual hubs that had on it were dmis i need to find a set of really nice internationals to put on and leave on it and some really nice split weights on the back but uh it came with a full rack of front weights on it just like it sat and it had cast weights inside and the tires were full of fluid this thing came across the scale with scales with duels on um over 17,000 pounds so it was not not a light tractor um dual remote ta i think it was originally a hydraulic seat tractor and somebody converted it to a suspension seat if you've been around IH hydraulic seats i yeah i'm not angry that it's got the suspended seat on it um two remotes uh does have dual pto in it which it shouldn't have had from the factory so i'm assuming um either they ordered it with a dealer with a ta delete or pto delete and put a dual pto in it or swapped it out some point in time in his life three point that honestly i believe to have never been used because i can't turn the balls i mean there's almost no play in those balls um the pt or the the hitch actually has been bushed out once um so i believe this thing probably did do quite a fair bit of tillage um the rear end's a little noisy on it but most of these 14s were um that's just kind of the nature of the beast in that area they were doing a lot of heavy tillage so just kind of part of the game um down there but really a really nice tight tractor the the three point is incredibly incredibly tight i mean i don't know where you'd find another one that tight for for the condition and for being original just an incredibly incredibly nice tractor the steering on it is a little loose i will tell you that i need to put new tie rod ends on it sometime i just haven't had the need to we really don't take this tractor to the field i have almost no intentions of doing field work with this tractor i'd like to maybe pull something with it once but I'll, with these dv 550 v8s in these tractors they're hard to come by for parts and i just really don't want to ruin it um i've had a lot of people ask me what i want for it over the years and dad and i each own half of it and this is one of the very very few things my father and i own together and we would have to actually come to an agreement between the two of us to sell it so yeah it's kind of one of those things that's not for sale really not unless it's an astronomical amount because i don't know where you'd find another one like it still has the original ih mufflers on it a lot of guys put chrome pipes on these yeah, there you go eight of 72 is what those are dated a lot of guys put chrome pipes on these to make them look cool i'm really glad that this one's still all original with all the proper shielding in place and all the nice decals and there's your ih muffler on this side i mean a lot of the decals are still in place you can see the line here where the cab rubbed over time i'd like to maybe see if i get that touched up sometime but not incredibly worried about it because this tractor just presents so well just all the decals are so nice and crisp 
if I have questions on, you know, what the originality looked like or want to put work on something, make it look as original as possible, bolt layout and stuff like that, I come and look at this tractor because I want it to be as perfect as possible, um, as you can imagine. But the roll bar I put on really nice. I put a flag mount on top of it just for doing parades and stuff like that. The fenders, you know, typical Western Kansas tractor on that 766 I robbed off of. They're, you know, pretty faded, but I'm sure I got a buddy that's going to paint those for me sometime. Yeah, 4,201.1 hours. Um, all the gauges here work. The fuel gauge is a little funky, but it works pretty well. Um, yeah, all the decals are super nice and in place. I mean, just an incredible, incredible tractor. Um, shines really well. There's your rub marks from the cab, but like, who cares? It's just an incredible tractor, and I'm incredibly blessed to have gotten the opportunity to you need to buy it I, every time i talk to the guy i got it from i tell him thank you um he you know just a busy guy so he didn't have time to get it the way he wanted but it's a cool tractor it is fun to drive that v8 singing is just something out of this world um i have there's just nothing like it i i really i this tractor is pretty high up on my list of favorite things to drive honestly um, my 1206 wheatland is probably one of my favorites just that 1206 just the whistle and the rolling coal and just black smoking with that thing is just an unbelievable thing. But this, when you're rolling two big old black streams of smoke out of this thing, it's just wild. And I've tried, done my best to keep it really clean. I keep it inside every night. Um, that decal there is still intact. I mean, there's just everything on this tractor is really perfect. There's a couple leaks and seeps, but I really haven't needed to mess with them, you know? For what this thing is, why would you screw with it? Um, I know when I changed the air filter on it, um, the guy before me had serviced everything, but he hadn't changed the air filters. Because it's not a whole lot of fun to change air filters on these. You got to take this muffler and lay it over on its side, and then you can take the hood up and get the air filter. But I have the air filter out of this one, and I think it was the original, one of the air filters from like 1980, something still an IH filter. So that was really cool. Had to put steps on it off that 766. Just an incredible, incredible tractor. Um, but yeah, I think I'll probably start it up now. We'll walk around and listen to it idle. It does. Um, the pump has not been messed with on this thing at all. These tractors started on four cylinders and ran on four cylinders up until a certain load point and then switched to run on all eight. It was a fuel saving economical thing, which wasn't all that great back in the day. Come to find out, well, these V8s weren't all that great for in tractor use anyway but uh yeah it still idles on four and then when you get it revved up it switches to eight so we will drive it around here i'll let you listen to it sit here and idle on four for a minute and then uh we can we can run it around some okay we will fire it up clutch safety still works on this girl so very unique sound Incredibly unique sound. But there it's sitting here idling on four cylinders. Just smooth as can be. I whenever I start this thing, and I haven't hadn't started it since last December when I put my combines away, I always make sure to let it idle for quite a while and warm up. Because these V8s again, just a very finicky motor, and I don't want to ruin this one. I know I could probably find parts, I've got enough good friends that could get me the parts I need. But, uh, you just hate to ruin it. I've had a couple guys give me a really hard time about this tractor, too, because they think they need it. And they're like, oh, you're going to blow that motor up. Oh, you don't want it. It's such a terrible motor. Just some annoying-ass people that, you know, just think they need it more than me. Jealousy. I work hard. I, there is some luck involved to find this sort of stuff, but I work really damn hard every day to have what I have. And uh, this is just one of my... One of my toys that is truly a toy. It does not get used for fun. Not really. It's just good for shows, and showing off, and uh, for advertising, mostly. But, uh, yeah, I've had it running here, so it's not exactly cold currently. So we'll crawl back up here and uh, take her for a spin. Okay, just like any IH tractor, it's just a high-low range with a reverse and four speeds in each range. 
Um, I'm not going to use the TA at all today because we're not loaded. But uh, I'm going to quit talking now and drive. for you. There you have it guys. Uh, I should have probably sprinkled some video photos and videos in of this thing. It's progression along the way of what I did, did with it earlier on. I hopefully can make that all happen earlier in the video. Um, just an incredibly, incredibly cool tractor. Um, kind of one really got lucky on this deal. I found some great tractors through some great friends of mine that know that I am always looking for stuff like this. And I thank them a lot for getting a hold of me on this deal been blessed by some good people that have you know given me opportunities to buy some incredible tractors over the last few years since i've been home farming and buying and selling machinery but this is probably the cream of the crop here uh 1456 gold demo and that 1206 are right up there and we'll, we'll be doing more work on that 1456 here shortly once i get done with planting it's pretty high up the priority list things to work on but uh yeah been hiding this one from you guys for a while if you've seen it you've probably seen it on twitter and instagram and places like that if you know me from there but this one's kind of been hiding in the background and i felt like today was a good day to do it but yeah so thanks again everyone for tuning in um thanks again to our veterans and those serving everybody have a happy memorial day um hope we get to spend it with some of your family and stuff like that um we'll be doing a lot more videos here as the summer goes along once planting gets over um, but i think that'll be it for this one this one did not come out of a weed grow it was actually a barn find for the last guy the lucky sucker but uh thanks for tuning in please like share subscribe uh comment if you like this one go drag something out of weeds and get it running